it. Hello fellow 3D enthusiast, my name is Ian, and this is how you can get the most realistic camera motion possible in your 3D scenes. And the answer to that question is camera tracking. It's when you take a video with a real camera, and Blender tries to figure out how your real camera is moving, and it moves the CG camera in the same way. And this can be a little bit labor intensive, it involves a lot of tracking of your footage, and today is not going to be a tutorial about tracking, but it's more going to be a sort of a quick tip about how you can use your tracked camera in a 3D scene. Often this is used for visual effects, but you can also use it to get some really nice realistic camera movement. But before we go on, real quick, I'd like to mention that I've created a completely free hydraulic kit bash element pack for you. So these work best with Blender, and there's a link for them in the description. Anyway, who said that? So why is it so important to have realistic camera animation? Well, I'll tell you a quick story. One time, my cousin came over, and he's in the big movie visual effects industry, and I showed him this animation. And he said, wow, that's really great, but your camera is all over the place. And then he explained to me how camera motion is really important for realism and the believability of animation. Because if it's not grounded, in real life and it's moving all over the place, it immediately just kills your suspension of disbelief. And you're like, wow, that's so animated looking. A good example of that might be like in the brawl scene from The Matrix, which I'm not going to show here, but you can look it up. So I'm just going to show you real quick what's going on here. I've got this footage of me walking through a hallway and I've tracked it real nicely and solved that. And the nice thing about this technique is you don't have to have pretty footage. It just needs to be something that you like the camera movement of and that you can track easily, which is what's going on here. And once you track and solve it, you can select your camera and go to camera constraints, which are here, and just do camera solver. And that's what I've done with this camera. And if you go into the camera view, you can see that it's got some nice realistic animation. Now sometimes you'll need to go from your nice realistic animation to something a little bit more computer generated, just if the animation isn't completely correct. So down the road a few Blender files in this project, I realized that I wanted the camera to just zoom in on the guy at the end. And you can't do that very well when it's constrained like this. So if you hit this button that says constraint to F curve, it will add a whole bunch of keyframes for your camera, which you can then manipulate. So I just jumped into my new scene that I've been working on for a little bit longer, and you can see here the camera has all these keyframes, and it's pretty good realistic animation. But at the end here, I've just manipulated it a little bit to get a little less realistic, but it does what I want it to do. So that's how you can sort of mix your realistic motion with unrealistic motion. And sometimes the mix will be all right. So that's it for this quick tip slash tutorial thingy. If you're not sure how to camera track, there's a whole bunch of tutorials on the topic. It's pretty easy to find them. So I hope you found this useful, and I'll catch you again in another tutorial. Cheers!